Greetings, family, friends, and survivors. This video is about small and simple solar systems. So we're here looking at the solar system on the chicken coop first. Get some lights on in here. And this system has been doing very, very well, even in really, really bad weather. You can see I have one of the cheap Renogy solar charge controllers, and it's fused with the solar coming in, and it's also fused going out to the batteries. And I have two inverters out here. This inverter, uh, only the fan only runs when it's got a load on it. And that's no big deal. The lights aren't on very long. So that inverter is for the lighting. And it's just a simple deep cycle marine battery there. And it's fused. And then there's another inverter. And when you turn on this switch, this powers up the negative side and then anything you plug in here this senses the load and I think this is a 1600 watt yeah it's a 1600 watt uh, pure sine wave inverter but it's a mechanical type it's got a DC motor on one side and an AC alternator on the other side and that one only gets used for the weed eater that one's not big enough for the weed eater, but when Carol is up here wanting to maintain what she can read, reach with the extension cord, because uh, a lot of grass jumps up around from the scratch from the chickens, so she likes to keep the the grass down. So rather than running an extension cord from the main solar system she just plugs in right here and that array is able to handle a weed eater in the summertime and in the winter time we're not doing much weed eating so we've got a simple modified sine wave $19 inverter from Harbor Freight and some cheap $2 LED 120 volt light bulbs and then this switch here turns on this room. This is supposed to be the meat factory side. So I've got uh, new, new things that we're gonna be doing in here to make that function. But I've gotta butcher some chickens first. So we're gonna do it in the spring. And then there's a light on in this side. And then also that little inverter runs the fan with no problem at all. And that of course is only in the summer months. So this controller actually came with a kit from Renogy. I bought several of the 400 watt kits and they throw one of these controllers in. So I had three spares. This was a amp meter off of one of my wind generators that I put together in a simple shunt here. So as you're increasing the load, you can see how much load you're actually putting on. Right now it's about one amp. And it was in its absorb mode when I came out here. It was at 14.2 volts, which is absorbed for that. And even with the poor light that we have today, it's enough for those three 70 watt Solec 25 year old solar panels that I paid very little for. It's enough for those three 70 watt panels, 210 watts, I think, to be able to handle the chicken coop year round. Don't even think about it. So there's one other small solar system here that just it just works. I don't ever have to mess with it. It just it does what it's supposed to do. And let's go look at that one. Okay, up here at the solar shed for the main system is the easiest place to see the solar panel for the other small system that we're going to talk about. And that's that little 24 volt panel right there. Just one little standalone solar array sitting up there in the sun. So even in the winter time, that little panel 
keeps its battery bank bank yes more than one battery it keeps its battery bank fully charged year round so that other little solar panel powers another Renogy charge controller it's got number 10 wire and the little solar panel sits really right up above this roof right up there so number 10 wire comes down and goes into the uh, the charge controller and it's kind of dark in here but there's two 12 volt batteries there in series and that's because what it powers is a Yanmar MEP-016D generator with a 24 volt starter. Uh, most uh, military generators are, are NATO and they're all 24 volt. So the thinking behind that little solar panel was rather than having a battery maintainer plugged in the wall in there maintaining the 24 volt battery bank for the diesel generator and I do have a battery maintainer sitting in there on a shelf but then what's the point of having that which is a load on the main house system why not let it have its own standalone solar system so the diesel generator maintains itself now yes i could originally have had it charge its own battery when the generator was running but the truth is this generator only runs for about two and a half months out of the year it even gets considered at all the rest of the time it just sits there well why not let the solar maintain that uh, it's out of sight out of mind don't even have to think about it I come in once a year and I check the water level on that small battery bank and when I walk into the shed and look when I see that the light is flashing on the charge controller I know it's met its charge requirement for the day and so if I see that light flash even one time during a week then I know everything's up to snuff and we're not having any problems so two small simple solar systems that were very very inexpensive in this case the only thing i bought for this particular one was that little solar panel i think i paid twenty dollars for the solar panel and the one at the chicken coop the only thing that i actually bought that i didn't already have was the little inverter a uh, little 19 dollars harbor freight inverter everything else i had so we put these two systems together just with junk we had laying around in the shop and that's kind of how we roll. So as my wife says, use it up, wear it out, make it do, or do without. Have a blessed day.